The number one suburb to live in in Florida is right here. I'm Bob Gosselin from Gosselin Realty. This is your weekly West Orange County Real Estate Report for the week ending September 29th. Onboard Informatics and Coldwell Banker Real Estate looked at 11,000 suburbs across the country, taking in factors like home ownership, number of college graduates, income, money spent eating in versus eating out. The top suburb in Florida, Windermere. Nearby Dr. Phillips ranked number 21. Amazingly, Windermere wasn't even in the top 100 suburbs overall. I guess they didn't take sunshine into consideration. Taking a look at what sold last week in West Orange County, we pull these numbers from the Mid-Florida Regional MLS and include the communities of Windermere, Ocoee, Winter Garden, Oakland, and Gotha. As usual, lots of closings at the end of the month. 43 single-family homes sold last week. Top price paid $712,000 for a 4-3 in Keynes Point. More than half the homes sold for $250,000 or less. 36 new listings hit the market. Half of those are $250,000 or under. Five are listed under $100,000. 45 new contracts were signed last week. This is a question realtors get all the time from sellers. Will my credit score suffer less if I short sale my home versus letting it go into foreclosure? With a short sale, the seller is working with their lender to sell the house. In a foreclosure, the homeowner's gone, the bank owns the house. FICO looked at data over a two-year period from 2009 to 2011. The conclusion, while short sales represent a better risk, they do not perform well enough to merit more positive treatment in the FICO score. The study found that 50% of borrowers who did a short sale go on to default on another account within two years. From a weighting perspective, all these mortgage events correlate with exceptional riskiness. From a pure emotional standpoint, we found over the last couple of years that our customers who can complete a short sale are in a much better place up here than those that lose their house to foreclosure. Sometimes it's not always about the numbers. Speaking of short sales and foreclosures, if you have an eye on a piece of property and it needs some work, you should consider making the purchase with the federally backed 203k mortgage. This is a rarely used financing vehicle that has received a lot of attention lately. Not only will you be able to borrow money to make the purchase, but you can get extra cash to buy appliances, fix a roof, even add a room, as long as you add value to the home. Buyers have to put at least 3.5% down, and all your estimates from contractors must be submitted before loan approval. If this sounds like a good deal to you, give us a call and we'll tell you more about it. That's your weekly West Orange County Real Estate Report. I'm Bob Gosselin from Gosselin Realty. Do something good for America this week. Buy some real estate. We'll see you next time.